Hey Capricorn Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope y'all are doing amazing. Let's get into your reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Flip it if you need to. Could be past, present, future energy. Let's get into this reading. Overall energy is the Three of Swords. Hmm. Three of Swords is Libra energy. Could talk about a love triangle, third party situation someone puts you in, feeling hurt, going through a separation, a breakup. Could also be a breakthrough, depending on how you look at it. This is definitely a feeling of grief and sorrow and just feeling very hurt. Okay. It's very cloudy in this picture. There's um this card. There's a lot of rain falling. Um, this is very somber, this energy of this card, but we will see. Your archetype, though, is the fool, meaning you're ready for something new. You're ready to move on. You're ready to take a leap of faith. You're ready to kind of start brand new. This is the zero card. It's like a, a refresh. It's like a, a system update. It's a, a <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like a clean slate that you have here. This is a young energy. This is a very vibrant, spontaneous, risk taker innocent naive kind of gullible energy jumping or taking this leap of faith not knowing where you're going not even looking where you're going and not caring just knowing that you're okay because you're letting your you know motivations move you forward um but this is the protagonist of the tarot the fool okay so this is his journey all these cards are about the things that he encounters he representing all of us, all of humanity. Okay, let's get into this. Your first card is Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. And that's clarified by the Knight of Wands. I feel you're in a no-nonsense energy right now. I feel you are motivated. I feel you are kind of coming back into your own. Whatever this was could have taken you off your A-game, but you're back on your A-game. Some of you, your body is looking nice. You could be athletes. You could be motivational speakers. Some of you are very much go-getters, okay? You're not shy. You're confident. You're a leader. Um, you're kind of aggressive right now because the Knight of Wands is aggressive. The Sagittarius energy and then the Ram is obviously Aries energy. So you can have fire heavily aspected in your chart. If not, you're feeling on fire. You feel like you want to conquer. You feel like you want to accomplish. You feel like a risk taker. You feel like a free spirit. I ain't mad at that. Next card is bird perched, waiting for news, package, or letter. Okay. And that's clarified by the Queen of Wands. You could be waiting to hear from an Aries. I don't know. Well, some of you are waiting for some news on something, some project you've been working on, or maybe if you're pregnant, because this can be a card of like, it's a good time for you to conceive. You could be waiting. <laughs> I just heard the stork. Somebody might think they're pregnant here and you're waiting for word. We're going to clarify. We have the four leaf clover with great good fortune. Great good fortune. Okay, so you're feeling lucky right now. This is a lucky time for you. Some kind of wishes being granted. This is a positive turning point for you. That's like the wheel of fortune. Good luck. Good karma is on your side. Clarify by the four of swords. And here we are again with the three of swords falling down on this person aimed at his head, aimed at his heart, okay? And even being over his head, almost holding him down. This Ace of Swords is at the bottom, okay? Meaning that some of you have lacked clarity about something or something that you thought was the truth, you found out wasn't the truth. It could have something to do with a mother and a child. This could be you and your child. This could be you as a paternal figure thinking about a woman who maybe lied to you about a child. I don't know. You could be waiting on news about a paternity test. Someone who is pregnant by you, you're concerned about whether it is your child or your masculine. I don't know. You could have found out someone lied about a pregnancy. You know, they were pregnant, but maybe it wasn't your child. Okay, let's see. What's a stubborn, aggressive person with Knight of Wands? We have humiliation. Yes, yeah, somebody's humiliated. I feel like someone lied about this pregnancy. There's a divine masculine here that I'm talking to. I read for the divine feminine, but this is very much giving me divine masculine energy. Like some of you, or well, you're connected to a divine masculine who was dealing with the feminine and Aries in particular. For some of you, she's stubborn, she's aggressive, and she is insisting that this, or insisted that this person was the father of her child and he's not. You have been very tense lately. Breathe. Stop racing for impact, expecting the words. What you expect, you magnetize. Some of you know this is not your child or you know that this is not your person's child. This is the third party. This is that third party right here. Yeah, this is what's going on. Someone moved away from someone who cheated on them and there's a baby in question that's not this divine masculine's baby. 
gag order, king of sports. This is um, air signs. This is not communicating silent treatment. So look, somebody might have put a gag order on, order on this person because they're aggressive, they're stubborn, maybe a restraining order. Return. Yeah, this is an ex who won't let go to keep coming back. No matter how many times you say get out of here, they're stubborn and aggressive. Show me bird purge waiting for news, package, letter. What's going on with this? What I feel is a paternity test, okay? What is going on with this? You have luck on your side, so it's going to turn out how it's supposed to turn out. We have cigars and cigarettes. This person is smoking while they're pregnant. Or someone uh, smokes cigarettes or cigars. They don't even care about the health and welfare of the child. What? Suck. They suck. <laughs> person is an energy vampire. They suck the energy and the air out of the room everywhere they go. We have a Gemini. Some of you is a Gemini. Either you're connected to or they are connected to someone who's very emotional, emotionally unstable with what I just heard. They don't know how to accept the truth. They live in delusion. Show me this great good fortune. Okay, maybe putting this to bed, putting this to rest. Okay, somebody could be on bed rest. The pregnant uh, feminine in the situation could be on bed rest. They could already have a child with this person. Impatience. Yes, yeah, somebody's tired of waiting, but they are waiting. They're trying to be patient. This is the fool. This is the Aquarius. Um, the fool in reverse, though. It's impatience. Feeling foolish. My way or the highway. This is a Sagittarius or an Aquarius your person was dealing with, some of you. Or fixed sign. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus. Definitely very stubborn. This waiting game is hard, though, trying to figure out if this is this, this masculine's baby. I don't think it is, y'all. I don't think it is. We have presidential, king of pentacles. This person, this masculine, has a lot of money. He's a boss. Could be a tourist. They're very financially stable. And this, this uh, karmic female thinks that she's coming up by attaching herself to this masculine but he's smart enough to get a paternity test we have florida water yeah you need to protect yourself if you're dealing with this masculine which i feel like you are their ex this karmic female or if you're the divine masculine this karmic female is definitely negative it says you need to banish this negative energy to welcome positive energy create an altar for yourself do some rituals with essential oils and things like that we have shelter here we have a new home we have ace of pentacles there's new solid connections and you know um yeah there's a happy home there's a marriage being established with either an aries or a taurus virgo or a capricorn that could be you capricorn this person's ready to move on with you marry you and this past person doesn't want to let them go let's take a look at the tarot and see what we get here i'm just going to grab a couple cards how it relates we got the eight of pentacles with the four of swords coming out of the game okay this person is working hard but getting nowhere. This could be a Virgo, a Libra, somebody on the cusp. They, they want to stick it to this divine masculine. Yeah, Knight of Swords, very argumentative with the sun. A baby is involved for sure. And the truth is coming out about this baby. There's some news coming in that you've been waiting for. It's coming in quickly. What is the news? Is this the father or not? Is this the father or not? Is this the father or not? Hell no, it ain't. The death card. Mm -mm. It ain't. This is the end of this. This is going to transform everything when the truth comes out. Could be with the Scorpio. Bottom of the deck, y'all. The devil. Can't make it up. The truth is coming out for sure. This devil is being exposed. Could be another Capricorn. Four of Cups. He's just divine. Well, the karmic female. The karmic feminine. She's obsessed. And she's upset that there's this new relationship developing with you. Or you with someone new. You're exploring your options. No longer drinking from her toxic cup of poison. All right, y'all. Like, comment. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Hit the notification bell. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.